Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. Nobody ever does these kinds of videos anymore and it makes me a little bit sad. Decided that I wanted to do one today because I've been watching videos like that lately. I really love handbags. I love watching other people's videos where they show and talk about their bag and also show what kind of stuff they put in their bag. Cause sometimes it's like, This is what this video is. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this or not, maybe, but let's just get into the video. Okay, so this is my bag. I have no idea what the name of this bag is called. I was gifted this for Christmas. I saw it at the store and it, it was like one of those tiny backpack bags or purses, whatever. It comes with two of these straps and it has four, little notches right here so you can attach it as a backpack um but i am only using one strap and i wear it kind of like a crossbody like this as this front pocket right here the big main pocket a little handle on top and then i just have this little um keychain on the side my boyfriend actually won this for me at an arcade and i put it there and i actually kind of like it there so yeah the first pocket uh, this is what it looks like. There's actually a lot of space in here. I'm kind of shocked that there is. It's been a while since I've also cleaned out my bag, so I have no idea what's in here. I'm a little bit scared. Let's just, let's just get into it. So I first have a straw wrapper. This looks like it's from Starbucks. I, whoa, this is where this went. I have this bag here, and I usually put crystals in here, um, just to carry them around with me, but I actually forgot that that was in here. And I just have this little heart shape crystal. I don't know what kind this is. If you guys are like into crystals, can you tell me what kind this is? Cause I have no idea. I just like purchased it cause it was so cute. And I really like the color. And I have, uh, wow, why do I have so many? What the heck? Okay, so I've got three tampons and three panty liners. I think I used to have a pad in here. I usually carry at least two tampons and two liners and like one pad um just in case um i don't know this is like tmi show whatever <laughs> kotex is my favorite brand by the way so yeah i just like them because they're tiny and they like expand they're cool they're cool so i like them and also they're uh i don't know how tampons can possibly look this pretty and also pads but like the designs are so cute right so i also have my inhaler here because i do have asthma so i carry I think I have two inhalers and I carry one in my purse and then I have one on my side table right now. Oh, found another tampon. Um, oh my god! I didn't even know this was missing. I have this Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick. It's one of her mini ones and this is in the shade Venus. Her packaging is so pretty but I love her liquid lipsticks. This is like a, a light nude brown. I'm going to show you guys right here. Yeah the color oh this is so pretty this is like perfect for fall actually it's a good thing that i found it wow roll up my sleeve because that'll probably get on my white shirt i didn't know i had this either i've been like struggling when i'm out and about and i think that i don't have a hair tie but i guess i have a hair tie and i like these ones because they don't leave a dent in your hair and they're also like i don't know it looks like a ribbon so it's not as ugly as a hair tie i have some floss this is the cool mint floss well people might think it's really weird that i carry floss but i don't know why <laughs> probably because my teeth have like spread further apart or something over time because i like wasn't consistent with wearing my retainer i get food stuck in my teeth so often every time i eat now i always have to check to make sure there's no food stuck in my teeth and sometimes you can't just like pick it out with your finger you have to like actually have floss that's why i <laughs> carry it everywhere so you just, you never know. Um, I have no idea what that is. Trash, probably. I have a lactate pill because I'm lactose intolerant. So I have dairy on a daily basis, multiple times throughout the day. I love dairy, I love cheese, I love milk, everything. It's really crucial that I have lactate pills because if I don't have those, I'm going to be suffering. And there's a really shiny penny. I think I found that one on the floor the other day and it was like 
kind of manifested that, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what the pocket looks like inside really spacious so in the next pocket this is what it looks like really really full there's some like there's like a half pocket right here on the side i'll show you when i begin to empty this okay so in the main pockets i've got this sanrio stamp card so i don't really go to the store that much i only went once but um, that's where I got my pop socket. Let me show you guys, it's so cute. Okay, so this is my the pop socket that I got from the Sanrio store. It's so cute, it's the lazy egg and it says don't care, which is like a mood, such a mood. I've got my wallet here, this is by Coach. It's just like one of those wristlet wallets. It's like this nice black and I really like these because sometimes I don't feel like taking my whole entire purse and I don't like keeping my cards like on my phone or in the case or whatever just because I'm really I forget my phone everywhere and I don't know I just, like my phone goes everywhere with me and I leave it everywhere and it's just like I feel like it's vulnerable. Is that the right word? I don't know if I put my like debit cards in there and all that stuff I feel like it's really it's in a very vulnerable position and it's probably gonna get stolen so I've got this recently I have about two other ones of these I always get gifted these and I appreciate them so much I really love them um, it's just such a good size you can even fit your iPhone in here and maybe like a lip gloss that's what it looks like inside you've just got two pockets right here to put cards in and then in the center I have a bunch of receipts and some cash so so good and um yeah all right this time it might be really weird to some people but i have these flushable wipes because uh, let me tell you a story there's this one time that i had to go to the bathroom at the beach and i don't know why i have like the world's tiniest bladder all of a sudden i had to go to the bathroom and i refuse to go in the ocean even though a bunch of people do so i went to the actual bathroom that's at the beach and we all know that the bathrooms at the beach are not the cleanest I was waiting in line and i went to the next open stall when the girl came out I go in and i like put the toilet seat covers i squat over i start peeing and then i notice that the toilet roll, the whole entire toilet paper roll, it was sitting on the floor in a pile of wet, I don't even know what. What I feel like might have been pee or God knows what, but honestly, it was so disgusting. I was not about to use that toilet paper roll. I ended up using toilet seat covers to uh, wipe. And that was, that was not fun. I felt really gross after that. After that whole thing, I never wanted to leave the house without these flushable wipes ever again. You just never know. I mean, it could be not just at the beach, but a restaurant or something. I always see that sometimes they run out of toilet paper. There's nobody else in the bathroom, so you can't really ask them to give you toilet paper, you know? I always have these in my purse. Um, plus, they're wet wipes, so like it makes me feel clean and... Yeah, that's why I have them. Those are pretty crucial, honestly. I also have the other strap for the bag. It kind of kills me that I had to fold in. Now it's kind of bent, but whatever. So this is... Oh, wow, this is old. This is a ticket um, to the OC Fair. It was actually a concert ticket my mom purchased for the Michael Jackson experience. But I guess if you purchase concert tickets at play at the OC Fair, you get into the OC Fair automatically. So my mom wasn't able to go and she gave me this ticket and I just used it for a free entry. So that was sick. Um, this is embarrassing. This is a, a boba tea menu um, to one of my favorite boba places. Shout out to Charity. I stole their tiny menu because I can never decide. I'm okay. Honestly, I'm one of those people who uh, looks at the menu for like 10 minutes like, thinking, oh my gosh, do I want something fruity? Oh, should I try something new? When I decide to order, I just change my mind and get the same thing that I always order. Anyways, yeah, I always have this menu just in case I want to like look over it before we go in because I take a millennium to make up my mind. Oh my god, why do I have so much lactate? 
have like a full on packet, like two packets. I knew you guys like, I go through these like quicker than water. I'm not even kidding because these are only effective for 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes, you kind of have to take another one if you're going to consume dairy again. And I have dairy like all day, every day. What is this? Ah, I got this post-it note from my doctor. I had a kidney stone and I had directions to fast for four hours, drink 32 ounces of water within 30 minutes, and hold it until after the procedure was done. Um, I had to get an ultrasound, so they wrote down the directions. I still have that, that's so funny. Terrible time though. That was a terrible, terrible point in my life and the most pain that I ever had, honestly. I have a pack of, I didn't even know I had a pack of gum, but I guess I have a pack of gum. This is the five gum and I really like it. Um, it's the one that's like black gum. But this one's really good. Another straw wrapper. And then it looks like I have change at the bottom here. Yeah, so I have three pennies and a quarter. Yay. Now that it's empty in the main pocket, you can see that I have two pockets on the side. They don't really zip up. They're kind of just like slots. The first slot over on this side, I've got a pen, which I don't even know where I got this from. I think this is my boyfriend's pen or something. I have no idea. Another straw wrapper. Hand sanitizer. This is the Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. This one's so bomb. I love it. And I've got, oh, this is the Milani. I think it's like a lip oil. I got this like decades ago. I don't know if this is still good. Oh my god, no. On my keys, like my lanyard, I kept this Harry Potter pin on it. I had like one of these backings, which I just found in my bag. And I remember like crossing the street and pulling out my keys from my bag and the pin popped off, but I thought I picked it up, but I guess I only picked up the backing. But I'm so sad because I don't know where it is and I was gifted that at my um, first job. We were all in like Harry Potter houses. So I'm kind of sad because it was like really sentimental to me, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, I have another wrapper. This is a lactate one. You surprised? Not me. I'm not surprised. Got a moist towelette. Whenever I go to Kicking Crab, I kind of like save the leftover towelettes because you just never know if you like might need that. This L'Occitane hand cream. I like this because it smells really floral. I don't even know where I got this from. I think my sister gave this to me. Um, but you know, you never know when you might be looking ashy and you need some lotion. Oh my god, seriously, this is like the most. Everything that's in my bag, I, you really honestly don't need, but I'm kind of that person that needs like, if you know, just in case. Mm -hmm. Of these C bands. If you guys don't know what this is, and I don't know if this is a placebo or whatever, you're supposed to wear these on your wrist whenever you are seasick. So I think this part kind of like pushes into like a pressure point in your wrist, maybe, and then it makes you like not so sick. I use this sometimes because I get car sick very easily. So whenever I feel car sick, I kind of just pop one on and I'm all good. Have another wet nap. Two more wet naps. I have this Michael Kors book, you know, the one that comes with the purse. I don't know, are you supposed to keep these or what? This is just to show that it's authentic, right? Oh, oh my gosh, yay! I found my pin! So this is my pin, it's a Hufflepuff pin. Um, funny story, at my old job, they actually kind of did like a little Harry Potter hat choosing thing <laughs> um, at one of our team member meetings and I was pretty new it was like my first team member meeting and I don't even know if I was like really working working yet or if I was still training but they gave me the Hufflepuff pin because I'm like really quiet and I'm not I'm not really an extrovert I'm very introverted and I was really, really shy when I started work there. Um, people would talk to me and I wouldn't really talk to them. And it took like months until I opened up to them and started like really making connections with people. So I love this so much because we all wore this on our hat and it was just really, it was a cute thing. So glad that I found this. Look at the actual tests online, you know, the, the Harry Potter website, whatever it's called. I actually got Ravenclaw for the house that I'm supposed to be in but it's really weird. I still feel like I'm meant to be Hufflepuff. So I'm very, I'm, I'm a little conflicted. I guess 
I don't know. I'm both. I don't know. <laughs> and I have uh, another straw wrapper. And that's it for my what's in my bag video. This is it. It's a cute bag though. I highly recommend. If I can find it online, I'll definitely link it down below. It's not an affiliated link, but it's a really cute ass bag. If you want this and you're into like the little tiny backpack purses, you can like change the strap or whatever. It's just really cute. I know they come in different colors. I saw it in black, white, and it was like all brown and it didn't have like the print on it. Normally, I don't really like when bags have the print on it like this. I like it really simple, but I thought this was just the cutest. Guys, so that concludes this what's in my bag video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Um, I know people don't really do videos like this anymore, but I can we bring that back? Can that be a thing again? Because I really, really love watching these videos. I love seeing what's in people's handbags and um, them sharing what their favorite bag is or what they're currently wearing. And I love watching purse hauls and all that all that mumbo jumbo. It's honestly awesome. So if you guys also make videos and you decide to do a what's in your purse video, I would really love to see it. Make sure to let me know or tag me, leave it somewhere. I don't even know. How does it work on YouTube? I don't know. I've got a lot of crap in my bag, but hopefully maybe you found it interesting and maybe you got an idea of what you would like to carry in your bag. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and turn on your post notifications if you would like to see when I post. I'm trying to post a lot more often. My goal is to post three times a week, and I have a whole schedule written out and everything. I'll try to see how well that goes when I start taking up more classes for school and everything, but that is it for this video. I just wanted to say that I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, honestly guys, look at all of the crap that was in my bag. Well, honestly, most of it is not crap because I actually find like the wet wipes and the lactate and the, the tampons and everything else to be pretty useful. Um, <laughs> but I do have a lot of trash as well. But honestly, it's insane. Honestly, wow. Good morning, America. First thing I do when I wake up is blast your electronic. By the way.